Welcome back, everyone. Uh, make sure to stay connected with us. That's right. Like us on Facebook at Open Bronx Net Television. And uh, well, after six months, uh, a six month search, that is, the Bronx Council on the Arts uh, welcomes their new executive director, Viviana Bianchi. She will serve as the fifth executive director since the organization was founded in 1962. And in addition, the Bronx Council on the Arts has been very, very busy with plans to open their future headquarters on East Tremont in 2018. And joining us to tell us more, we welcome executive director Viviana Bianchi and deputy director Charles Vasquez. Hello, Hello and congratulations Thank you. and welcome, <laughs> welcome, welcome. You. And Thank you, you bueno, nice to yeah. see you again. No. <laughs> <laughs> we love having you here, Charles, always. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for having us, too. Oh, you know, we're honored to be the first uh -huh. to announce it. I, yeah. I think we are, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Pretty much. Yes. Pretty much. Yes, yes, yes. So how long have you been in office? <laughs> two weeks. Uh, uh, exciting two weeks, really. Um, uh, working closely with Charlie and with his staff, we we having a ball planning yeah, all yeah. the things that are coming up. So do uh, please do share. What was those first two weeks like? Ah, this first two weeks, well, finding out all the good things that we've been doing and trying to set again direction for the council, so you know to shine. Um, the opportunities that are coming up with the new buildings are so exciting. So planning for that a little bit. Uh, hopefully next year, by late spring, uh, we'll be able to open to the public and, uh, and, and I start with new programming and thinking innovation. So, you know how it is, two weeks, you try to uh, get acquainted and stuff like that. Yeah, no, and Charles, you've been holding it down. Yeah, a little bit extra, <laughs> right? To the point that they yeah, said, they know. said, "Bueno, let's just give him a promotion." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Congratulations no, it was, it to was you too. But I knew that it would be worth it to hang in there, and um, you know, just to to negotiate that in between space until we moved, you know, into the next phase, which now we're in. So I'm very grateful to be working with with Viviana, um, and to sort of combine forces to, you know, like you said, set the council on a new course with an exciting new future, and to do things that we weren't able to do in the past so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so yeah. okay so this is really exciting yeah. because i know what the new building is going to look mm -hmm. like because i've seen mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. i mean it's been in construction for quite some time mm -hmm. and it's absolutely yes. beautiful yeah, yes. and the location is awesome because it's walking distance from the that's train right. because that's another factor yep. where the bronze council was located is the geographic yes. so mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. Let, mm -hmm. let's talk a little bit about the programming anybody have Anything that they could share? The programming? Well, we can both no, share yeah, a little yeah. bit. Right now, oh, we... Oh, I don't know. Okay, Nobody is like top secret. So good. Well, well, we're afraid of like an info dump, right? <laughs> <laughs> we kind of check with each other. Yeah. Uh, no, we still have in the, the, the Writer's Center, which Charlie is wonderfully spearheading that. Um, we have a new exhibit uh, at Longwood right now that opens on October 4th, and I invite everybody, you too, Rina, to come. Uh, it's a great uh, exhibit. Uh, the thematic is boleros, and it's a little bit about nostalgia and love and anything that was inspired by the bolero music. And for next year, we are looking to revamp our ground making so that it is even more impactful. And there are so many opportunities for collaborations with uh, nonprofit organizations and, uh, and artists that to bring more the, uh, the power of the arts to the community. I think that that's the vision mm -hmm. that we're starting to set, that we're making sure that all districts are impacted, that all artists have access to us and the benefits that we offer. And hopefully the space, which is gonna be wonderful. And you know, it has space for projections, it has space for for production of little things that we can do. We have a mm -hmm. the lab. You can talk a little bit about yeah, the lab. I mean the, the, like the, the current location, as you said, um, hasn't really been a public engagement venue. And that's going to be changing. So what we're doing now is really assessing the, the, the programs that have kept the pillars. So the, the Longwood Arts Project that's center of the gallery, the Writers' Center, which I've directed now for going on four years. And then the grants programs, which activate community arts projects in, in all of the in all areas of the Bronx. And you also have a new grant uh, director. A new grant, a new yes. grant manager. manager. Yes, yes. yes. Managing yes. All the so all the you know, we're taking those three keystone programs and then figuring out how that's going to expand, how we can expand on that in the new space with the with the public engagement venue, which we've never had our own. Mm -hmm. So other than the gallery, so um, it's pretty exciting. It's pretty exciting. And yeah. We continue to produce uh, concerts and, and workshops right. and for the community, so that will continue to happen. Yeah. 
And some of that might be now held in our new facility, in which is exciting. Right. Which is exciting. Right. 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 Part of the fair at the square in Westchester mm -hmm. Square. Right. I mean, there's just a whole there's a whole lot to to build on. So. It's very, very exciting crossroads. It is very yeah, exciting. Yeah. So yeah. how has the transition been for you coming from Mind Builders, right? Oh, it's been wonderful. I think Mind Builders was kind of a schooling and, mm -hmm. and, and arts administration in the Bronx and getting to know the community and getting to know artists. Um, a, a lot to, to thank Madaha over there and, uh, and to my colleagues there. And um, it's excited for me. It's exciting for me finally to be able to bring this long trajectory of you know, no, a social sector and the arts in my life coming together into this exciting new venture. Oh. I call it venture and adventure and <laughs> exciting vision. I, I would say. imagine so. Uh -huh. I mean, you look mm -hmm. fabulous. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Aparece bien jefa. Gracias. Gracias. Con caché. Con caché. Gracias. Of course, no, we're so happy to have you here with Gracias, us, sharing with our viewers. Thank so uh, before we go, uh, is there any particular event you would like to share with our viewers to attend? Uh, is there going to be a ceremony for you or anything, you know, like a nice gathering? A things happening. So since we have in the opening at, uh, uh, at Longwood, uh, Hostess College, uh, we're going to have a little meet and greet on the 3rd of October, mm -hmm. and the opening is on the 4th. So I invite everybody to attend. It's a great exhibit. Uh, Secondly, we are having something else that I can't remember. Uh, the uh, the Blood Bl Bl opening and the oh. South Bronx Culture Trolley on October 4th is kind of right. the next, you know, that's kind of launching us into the busy fall season. So there'll be, you'll, you can go to bronxarts.org or sign up for the newsletter to get news about uh, exhibit happenings and workshops and so forth after the fact. But and yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember. I encourage all artists to apply to our grants. The grant season is opening. Uh, we have four, four, three grants programs and more of like an awards program. Mm -hmm. So they are, it's all on our website. And really, uh, we really want to capture artists from every part of the borough. Right. So check us out, I would say, and uh, try to apply. And we want to help know the artists yes yes the, the artists connect, connect. connect. <laughs> connect. Yes. all right well maybe we're looking for a new tag there uh, all right Charles I just know you, you know I, I, I <laughs> always, always you and the work that you thank have you, done you. since you have arrived is is really breathtaking it's my pleasure. thank you for it's your commitment pleasure. and your dedication you. and welcome thank you thank well, you welcome again to the Bronx gracias Council, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> gracias muchas gracias it's nice to meet you and thank I hope you. you guys enjoyed meeting her as well once again you guys for all things happening with Bronx Council and the Arts, be sure to visit bronxarts.org. We have to take a quick break, but stay tuned to learn all about this year's Boogaloo Extravaganza.